Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This is the continuation video of acute and chronic inflammatory dermatosis. This is the third video of this series and it will cover erythema multiforme. Another entity that is included in acute inflammatory dermatosis is erythema multiforme. This is an acute, uncommon, self-limited hypersensitivity reaction to certain infection and drug. This can occur at any age, but the peak uh, age of occurrence is during the second and third decade of the life. It is associated with infections, drugs, cancers, and collagen vascular diseases. The infections, the common infections that are associated with this erythema multiforme are herpes simplex, mycoplasmal infections, histoplasmosis, cocaidiodomycosis, typhoid and leprosy, the sulfonamide, penicillin, barbiturate, salicylates, hydantoins and antimalarials are also associated with erythema multiforme. Carcinomas and lymphomas are uh, uh, also uh, associated with erythema multiforme and some sort of uh, collagen vascular disorders such as systemic lupus erythematosus, dermatomyositis and polyarthritis nodosa are also associated with this entity. There are two forms of this disease. One is uh, termed as erythema multiforme minor. In that, in, in that type of this uh, entity, there are few annular or ring-like targetoid erythematous macule or blisters that are present, while in erythema multiforme major that is also termed as Steven Johnson syndrome and uh, it is characterized by widespread ulceration of the skin and mucous membrane and this is a life-threatening condition. The erythema multiforme is characterized by ker keratinocyte injury that is mediated by skin homing CD8 plus cytotoxic T lymphocytes. The same mechanism of injury occur in acute graft versus host reactions, skin allograft rejections and fixed drug eruptions. Uh, as you know, this uh, lesion is the lesion of the erythema multiforme is target-like lesion. Uh, the center of this lesion contains CD8 uh, cell, cytotoxic cells, while the periphery of the lesion contains CD4 helper T cell and Langerhans cells. The epidermal antigen that is responsible for homing of this uh, T lymphocyte is unknown. The post herpetic erythema multiforme uh, is associated with viral antigens, IgM, C3 deposit that are present perivascularly and at the epidermal basement membrane zone. And the combination of these uh, infiltrating lymphocytes and antigen antibody complexes within these lesions in the post herpetic erythema multiforme suggests that the mechanism involves both the humoral and cellular type of hypersensitivity. The erythema multiforme is named as multiforme because uh, it has got uh, multiple appearances such as macule, papule, vesicle formation or bully formation and uh, the lesion of these uh, are also termed as targetoid or target-like lesion or iris-like lesion or iris lesions. In target lesions, uh, there is central erythema that is surrounded by paler surroundings and this central erythema sometimes become uh, vesicle formation or bully formation. The presence of bully or uh, vesicle denotes a more severe course of the disease. The involvement of the uh, skin or distribution of the lesion is variable while uh, there are some limited extent in which the symmetric involvement of the extremities is also seen. Two severe forms of this uh, erythema multiforme that are often 
uh, lethal are Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. The Steven Johnson syndrome is febrile form that is associated with extensive involvement of the skin that is often seen in children but is not exclusive for the children. It is often seen in children and uh, the skin, lips, oral mucosa, conjunctiva, urethra, genital and perianal area means both the skin and mucous membranes are involved and due to sloughing of the skin, the, uh, the barrier against the infection is lost and this will lead to the development of sepsis. While the toxic epidermal necrolysis is characterized by diffuse necrosis and sloughing off of cutaneous and mucosal epithelial surfaces. As there is a widespread damage and loss of the epidermis, there is a development of clinical picture that is similar to the burns. This is the gross appearance of erythema multiforme. There is presence of target papules and uh, there is a central bully formation that is uh, associated with surrounding erythema and this condition in this case appeared after antibiotic therapy. Another picture of the erythema multiforme and uh, as we know that uh, this is multiform and has got uh, numerous uh, type of the lesion range from papule, vesicle or bully. Sometimes even uh, hives are also or uh, hives are also seen. The classical target lesion has got a central vesicle that is surrounded by a zone or erythema and uh, and uh, after that outside there is a paler area. The targetoid lesion of erythema multiforme are characterized by presence of superficial perivascular lymphocytic infiltrates that are associated with dermal edema and there is also accumulation of lymphocyte along the dermoepidermal junction and uh, this uh, accumulation of the lymphocyte along the dermoepidermal junction is termed as interface dermatitis. And uh, these lymphocytes are closely associated with the degenerating and necrotic keratinocytes. The, that uh, degenerating keratinocyte is marked in this picture by this single arrow. Then there is also upward migration of the lymphocyte into the epidermis. And uh, there is also formation of discrete and confluent zones of epidermal necrosis that also result in uh, blister formation. Uh, epidermal sloughing as a result of this blister, epi uh, epidermal sloughing after this results in development of shallow erosions and a stratum corneum is usually uh, unchanged in acute cases of the erythema multiforme. While dermis shows perivascular lymphocytic infiltrate without eosinophils. Another photomicrograph showing the histologic appearance of the erythema multiforme. Here this arrow is pointing towards the squamous epithelial cell dissolution that is associated with the uh, accumulation of the lymphocytes within this area and the this is termed as interface dermatitis.